my dear Anglo friends and fellow Quebecois, you and I both know it's gonna happen. <laughs> Later, Quebec will become independent. Yeah. Yeah. And in this dreaded separation, deep down, even if you fear it now, you would be kind of relieved that it finally happened. Yeah. Yeah. It would be done. You want to no longer live under the threat of a new referendum? Just help us win the next one, and it's going to be the last one. anymore? <laughs> Everywhere you see articles saying, good riddance if Quebec separate, Stephen Harper celebrates the Queen and pays for the army, and he, well, he provokes us, and he, re he replaces the portrait of the Queen in the place of uh, Alfred Pellin, you know. <laughs> and are we gonna let Scotland beat us to independence? Come on! Yeah. <laughs> of course, there is this word. Separation. It evokes dissent and brings along fears of turmoil. But think about it. There is an occurrence where separation is an undeniably good thing. Siamese brothers. <laughs> and isn't that what Quebec and Canada are in the end? We are at least Siamese half-brothers held together only by a dysfunctional constitution we never signed and a passion for hockey. <laughs> and Quebec being the smaller brother, we're always stuck with the bigger brother sitting on top, an elbow in our eye, prompting us to send a knee in its side, and we wonder why we are so exasperated by each other. I have only one thing to say to Canada. If you're sitting on me, I can be anything but a pain in the ass. <laughs> Separation is not going to be a war. It's a long overdue surgical procedure that will make us both free and no less brothers. So for Quebec's anglophones, once you admit to yourself that it's unavoidable and that it could be beneficial to both parts, don't you want to have a say in how it's done? You know? And there's a new party for independence that invites every Quebecois to participate in this exercise of defining ourselves. We are Option Nationale, O-N, and we're on to something. with both parties shaking hands at the end of the process. Dreams can come true when we care enough that they don't become anybody's nightmare. Yeah. We can manage to promote and protect French as Quebec's national language while still having a vibrant English community. I'm sure it's going to be even easier once the question of independence will be settled. Yeah. 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 So if you feel you belong here, whatever happens, and are tired of voting out of irrational fears, if you want to send a message that you no longer fall for the Quebec bashing rhetoric, if you feel that your beloved city, Montréal, is not the suburb of anything, but rather the thriving center of its own universe, where cultures mingle to create something unique and inspiring, Make a statement by voting for the modern, open-minded, up-and-coming voice for Quebec's independence. Yeah. Yeah. Better still become a member of Action Nationale and brainstorm the country with us. You're gonna practice your French? <laughs> Ça va être le fun, mes amis, et le fun va gagner. À Montréal, le fun finit toujours par gagner. Yes, my friends, 
I have a dream that one day in Quebec, francophones and anglophones, Abenaki, Algonquin, Escamec, Trees, Huron, Wenda, Inu, Manisset, Nick Max, Mohawks, and Nascapes will join hands and say in the words of the old friend General, Vive Montréal, Vive le Québec, Vive le Québec Libre! Quebec will be and what will be your place in it, it's easy. Just say, you're on. Yeah. And go to Option National on September 4th. Yes, my friends, we're on to something and we're, and we're gonna get it on together. Ensemble. Awesome. Merci. <laughs>